my name is uh, Ivan Larcher. I'm a cheesemaker by trade and I've been making cheese for the last 25 years. I grew up in a small village in uh, central France, on the west part of France. Um, in a small village, so no relationship with uh, farming and nothing to do with cheesemaking. So that I ended up in cheesemaking by pure luck, I would say. We're very lucky to have Ivan. Yeah, we're very lucky. He could have set up in France, but anywhere in the world, and people would have welcomed him with open arms. Yvon is our cheese whisperer, and this is not us saying that, it's the, the whole world. But it not only brings that knowledge and that willingness to share it, but also this talent, these uh, great skills to create cheeses. And his, his ethos is to also share it to as many people as possible. So um, having him around here makes Long Paddock is much more valuable. We try here to combine a French technique with Australian targets, equipment and milk. So we have some recipes or some techniques that are um, coming from French uh, methods, French cheese. It's, it's not about taking a brie and pasting it into the Australian system, is how can we do a fusion between the pros in Australia, the pros in France, and then allowing this mix to work. And so it's obviously our skills, the skills that we bring are French and the background is French, but more and more and more, we want to see these things become Australian. We very much want people to, to look at our cheeses and say, yeah, this is an amazing cheese. It's as good as anything I've had in France, but it's Australian. So in Australia, being such a young country, uh, there was, um, until uh, about 10, 20 years ago, there was no access to good bacteria, there was no access to, to equipment to make cheese. So what we are learning from Europe is traditions, uh, recipes, savoir-faire, and, uh, and with the, the right piece of equipment and the fantastic Australian terroir, we're able to kind of join uh, the best of both worlds. Uh, being able to, to, to source organic milk was a very important one. Family produced a small size herd with specific breeds of cow. And we ended up working with uh, Shane and Cindy Atwell in uh, Girgari, so an hour and a half north uh, from here. And if we can increase the sustainability of a dairy farm um, in here, we are more than happy to do that when you're still trying to build an industry, you have to work together and you have to, to share and be uh, able to help others. Um, so it's a very important part of what we do. That's really the pride that I'm getting from. It's from the customers themselves. With the cheese school, the biggest pride that I have is when I see students that are now actually cheese making, that have their own business, that they have winning medals in uh, competitions. This is the pride that I've got from them. Yeah. There is not enough cheese makers in Australia. In fact, there's not enough cheese eaters in Australia yet. Uh, and that's why we want to educate people. That's why we want to share that uh, information. We want to share that, that uh, secret with everyone. We've done a lot in two years. We've, uh, we've been building this whole company. We passed, we have now more than 10, uh, 10 employees working with us. We've been created 10 plus different recipes of cheese in only two years. So everything has been super fast. Super fast, super challenging, but would, nothing would have been possible without, without this team. Customers are very curious about what we do because our products are so different for some of them, they haven't seen or tasted something similar because they're not available in Australia and they were mainly available in Europe. So they're very curious, they're very willing to learn, they're very willing to try as well. And the key is to get the cheese in their mouth because as soon as they try it, they're like, wow, I've never tried something like that. And uh, that makes my job very easy because they, they're obviously very, very enthusiastic about what we do. Castlemaine really is the right fit. It's the right fit for us as individuals. People love living here, but it's also the right fit for our business. The community really loves the fact that we are making fine cheese in this area. 
we try to give back to the community as well in numerous ways and that's extremely important to us. Uh, we are very much a family because we we all very close, we all aware of each and everyone's skills and we very understand that without one piece or one person in this endeavour we won't be going very far. Um, so the, the team is a mix of Australian and French, so it's a great little mix. It is very much Australian with a French accent. I still believe that Australia is the, uh, a land of possibilities. If you have a lot of a, uh, a good idea, a good project, a lot of ambitions, a lot of uh, passion and work, uh, everything is doable. If you want a quiet day, you don't choose cheese making. There is always something that will be different than the, the previous day, but that's, that makes the fun, that makes the spice of this, uh, this kind of days. <laughs>